Hello guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to the Eastern Conference of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. This time, it's the Bruins and the Hurricanes back at the PNC Arena. It's about to go crazy down there as we already have seen the Bruins winning the game here in game number three. But if all that happens here, game one and, I'm sorry, game one and three, so it was happened before with another face-off attacking going on, and that was happened before with game one win here for the Bruins, then game two win here for Hurricanes, and game three, that was happened once again, and before it was the Bruins that won just another one to get right by it. I have no question to doubt the minding because of uh, all that happened here. It may have been turned out to be, to be really hard to try to get back in the game. And then for game four, well, it, it isn't anything else to say about that, literally. And without any other questioning mindful with that, it's all it had turned out. But it might be too much to be thinking of here with two and three. But it may be very hard to get them right back in the game. So it wasn't fair at all to see them go for for the Boston Bruins to uh, that one game one against the Hurricanes at the PNC Arena. And then the second game, that was the Hurricanes that won. But the game three, well, I had it wrong. It was 2-1, that's the Hurricanes won it again. And then for game four, it, there was no question of adoption in between those two. I have nothing else to say about that, but if this was all that happened again, to be one at the same time, that does turn out to be another one. It's 3-1. So, it looks like it could be the end of the line here, as I just may have to think about it more, and if a real game happened here, it was 1-1, one 2-2, one, two and, two, and I don't know who will lead up 3-2. It could be a very tough one, to get right by it at that point. So, I'd like to say now that now I'm here, I also have with me phone right down the sideline. It's time for game five to start and get right on the podium. Me phone, it's great to have you here. And also with this game, we got a next one coming in for the Hurricanes and the Boston Bruins. Who do you have your take here? for going for the second round to face against the New York Rangers for tonight. Well, I guess that might be a very good uh, good way to get right by him here. I'm going to have to say the Carolina Hurricanes are going to sweep the Boston Bruins and then go right to the second round to face the one versus 2 seed. It can be very tough. Well, you may never know. It might be happening here for tonight. And we coming to you live here at the PNC Arena to start things off here for the Stanley Cup playoffs. The fans are in the house and the puck is about to set and we are underway. Game five, here we go. Marchin has the puck around him for the board. He will be playing here since his first game made his a good appearance here to win it off for the game. As you can definitely tell that, um, that Marchand had a lot of um, uh, terrific games this season. It, it turned out to be just a, a very amazing of all attacking on the run. But I'm pretty sure that there might be somebody else out there that can go for an R1 gear too. A little bit of swag up here as Slavin has it. Marchand will try again. Now Ajo will deliver it from the wall. He continues to board, passes off to Terry. Back to Ajo, Cup can't connect. Now Shnesikov right to the board. Terman up across. Takes a shot with it off and Shnesikov will try to save it again. Hurricanes moves the puck in quickly. And the slot. Omar takes a save and they will hold the puck left. Those players are the only teams that can definitely try to handle the things off. The one thing in particular mind that reminds me of is Sebastian Ajo. Uh, have some a lot of uh, a lot of good ways to get right by the uh, by the attackers. There might be somebody in here but behind, but for Mark Saul and other guys like Tony D'Angelo, he has it all covered up a year before. Now in pursuit, he finds over to Trocheck. 
Trojek delivers off to Nekas. Back to Seji. He goes right to Pes. Takes a shot. That's off the pad made by Omar. Pes tries again. Hits the center. He gets broken up in, the, in a passing into the marking lane. That could be a very trying try with the uh, offensive run here. And on the board, it can be very uh, difficult to make an impending in transition. It may be tough. 2-1, that goes off the iron. Saved by Anderson. He, Anderson has his first save here as it wasn't fair for him to reach out with the game one lost. It was very that tough. Now you can definitely call it, they have it all open front. D'Angelo moves outside, takes a shot. That goes off the mark and Stahl recovers. Fast, moves inside, in the slot. Over with the save, it goes right behind. Oh, Mark, what a clear man he is. He's delivering it off with a second time that he wants to get things off to. Maybe for him, it may be very tough to keep an eye on. Hurricanes go back to work on offense. D'Angelo tries again, and a passing in the slot won't count and find a man. Bergeron up with the puck control, right past the blue line. Marchand outs in front, and it's tipped off by Anderson. You see that Anderson was getting there? Well, that's what he's that's what he's got him on and on. He's doing good. Nitrata inside! Back gets broken up and goes off wide. Grizzled up to Marchand. Now he moves over to Bergeron. Bergeron up to the brusque. The Canes work on offense to go, to go back in the other way. Fast helps him out with the team to make them count and play alive. D'Angelo back to Slavin. Back to D'Angelo. He will take it inside. That goes off of Omar. Slavin putting a body slam on, on Bergeron. Katami back in the offensive end. He finds Slavin. Slavin goes right by, by Martinex. Now he goes back with D'Angelo. Takes it in the net. Here goes off. Kutami. Oh, save me by Omar. And he puts a bow on the puck. Still lots of time left here. The score is still even as no pointing has given off to each team in the first period. Hurricanes go back in again to try things from the top. Turning up to Aho. Now he moves right back over to Pesk. Pesk inside. Saved by Allmark. Allmark got him in good at transition out there. He got an easy call. Smith on with the attack. Taking the poke check for Seji. Coil out by Aho. Shetsikov's got one. Coil up front. Good save by Anderson. Anderson got a great one to make the piece of that one. Now he knows his way to get right by him. Saved by Anderson. Now he picks up the turn 80. Turn 80 on the attack. His side. He scores. That's another goal for the Canes in the playoffs. What a fast break. Turn He's the only man himself. He knows his high man rush. He knows his deal. An early lead takes it off to Hearn Kane's 1-0 here for the first period of game number five. This one turns out to be just a heavy matchup in between. I know, it definitely did turn it out. Now one at a time, they have it all even counted around here for, for a bit. I'm pretty sure that there's, a, there's another heavy matchup that we're going to go for. Nekis. Races the puck. He moves over to Trocek. Back to Seji. Pest keeps the ball puck alive. They won't pick up that play and they will have to head back to the neutral zone. Outside in front here, right from the board is Nekas. Nekas moves back to Jarvis. Now he swings over to Pest. Pest takes a shot. That goes off wide. Pest outside. And Seji will have to carry it offside. We have finally passed the midway period. Hurricanes have themselves a 1-0 lead here for the game since it wasn't fair enough 
for game one. Great stick on the body check here for, for Lorenz. And that's a good idea because that is a very good slight offensive kind of move. They wanted to keep it in, in the cover cozy. Bear up front. Shot went wide. Back up again is Bear. Bear hasn't scored yet so far in each period. Marnitz up back to Bear. Now Kotemi up in the corner. Nowhere where to go. Finds back Mortenix. Up to Kotemi. Back to Lorenz. He finds a man here behind the net. Now back to Coyle. Moves over to Bear. With the shot. Saved by Omar. Omar really got a good, uh, good work out there. That carries along to Kotemi. McAvoy goes down on the body check. Cole up to Bear. Swings up. Rebound saved by Omar. That's a bad look here on offense that time because it was a little too sloppy to make that play even a, a lot of worse little idea. Maybe it could be a very tough one to go by. And this one calls up for a delay penalty coming up here for Boston. As we have a man down advantage, that could be a holding on the rough call. Yeah, that's because of whatever happens right now. They're not going to succeed it really much, and that could be a hard timing. And we got a whistle here. This will be calling a charging on Brad Marchand. That will be a power play to get started for the Hurricanes for tonight. And this one calls here for Sebastian Ago as Life Rank stands by. Sebastian Ago has delivered him here for the third eye straight. He knows he's known his secret here from taking his advantage, and now he has an old man advantage here on the board. Now they need to show what they got here to look for a man advantage to find a pass eye in between. Let's see what he can do here for, for his next one, guys. Allmark will stop the puck here with a minute and 33 on the power play for the Canes and 6.04 left in the first period. Also, David Pasternak has it all even covered up here before. It may be very tough. Uh, I'm pretty sure there could be a lot of uh, a lot of face out in between the uh, zone and actions here. They try to give it up to a, a try. It may be it may be all right. Now it's Trocheck out on the board. Trocheck delivering up back of the offense. Now Sesikov takes a shot off again on Omar, and it went up and over around the backboard. Now Avo delivers up out right from the pool board. D'Angelo Desnetsikov moves back to Trocek, takes the backhand shot, that goes off again. 30 seconds of power play, 5 minutes left here for the first period. Trocek tries again. He will take the advantage here, 2 a one broken up! That was very tough, it was going to be a very rough call. I thought this was going to be a power play goal, but it looks like they were on off and steady pace out there. The power play for Boston Bruins has expired for the delay penalty. With the shot, Hallmark with the save traffic up front. This is up to Carlo. And the poke check delivers up to Sinesikov. Boston keeping an eyes on the man open and advantage. Fast up again on D'Angelo. 340 left to go in the first period. Now D'Angelo, this off the fast. He scores! It's a slap shot and Fast delivers it for a 2 nothing lead. That's a hustle rebound. With D'Angelo Russell, he wasn't going to take that all because he wants to give it up to, to, uh, to Fast. He says, I have it all alone. Well, <laughs> now he got a great opportunity here to give it up for tonight. Fast got his first goal in the playoff series against the Boston Bruins in the first round, and now he is looking for a chance to get a second one here. The Bruss. And back is the Dreader. Up on the board, a long stall. Back to Slavin. Slavin back to D'Angelo. Gets pucked away. Slavin will have to regroup here on offense. Stall back in the offensive end. Moves it across, backhand shot, that won't take a risk of him. 
McAvoy's got a little puck passing them at defensive end. Bergeron back in offense. The Canes work their puck around to head back to the offense end. Stall with it. Just off the fast. Trying to work her away his run. Now he goes back to slamming. D'Angelo outside. Finds the runner looks up with the backhand shot. Off at a target. And it's all marked with the save. They're going to get some rest here with a minute and 26 to go. There's so many shots going on here for the Hurricanes, but they have a 2 nothing lead here in Game 5. This all does turn out. It looks like the hired players can definitely want to take the advantage here, and they wanted to go right to the second round. Skoji up to pass. Shoots him up, and shot goes blocked by Frederick. Last minute to go here in the first period. It's a 2 nothing lead score. Coyle on Skoji. Taking a big move around and pass tries to take the puck away. Bad pass broken up by the Hurricanes. McAvoy inside. Who's it from across? Anderson takes the save. Shetsikov clears the puck. And beating Icy Shetsikov. Hurry up. Shoots. Scores! Two! That's a buzz beater in the first period. What a goal by Terran. And he now knows he's got a great shot between the eyes. Hurricanes win. And it will hold the puck here as the first period comes to a close. We got a great game in shots here for the Hurricanes and not for the Boston Bruins. It's 3-0. On now to the second period as we have the puck free coming down. Kane's win, we start now. Terramain has gotten two goals in the playoff session here along with some couple other ones. He has definitely made amazing goals that he turned out. And that definitely did give him a good shot here. I know that Terramain is doing really well. I'm betting that that is going to be his, uh, if, if a terrific time for the season. It may be very tough for him to give an eye on. Bergeron. That pass is broken up and Sinestikov takes it away. 2 on 1 attack. Now he switches off to Slavin up to D'Angelo. Angelo up to Ajo. Now he swings the board back up and off to Sinestikov. Swings it back over. They won't pick up that play. McAvoy on Slavin. Try to work his puck alone. Bergeron inside. Knocked him down. What a takeaway. He's like only a man on man rush. But a great stoppage from, the, from Slavin and the other guys. They got it all down board. Backhand release. And Omar will have to keep the glove save as the backhand won't take him. There's so many passing offensive viewers on the board, and there's a lot of them that goes in between the uh, red line and red line. I know that definitely did kill him at the moment of time in the defensive zone. It may be very tough to try to work his way around. I don't know what the day, I don't know what's going to be happening here, but it may be very tough for him to give him another try. McAvoy passing the neutral zone. Pasternak's inside. That goes off of Anderson. Trocek with the puck, swings it right over into the defense of this zone. Pass right back to Seji, back to Pass. Delivers up to Nekas. Nekas got along right about right from the corner. Trocek, Seji up, Pass outside. Trocek swings it on over to Jarvis. And they lose the puck control as they will have to restart it from the group of top. Pass Griffin now. Taking a back. Puck here with a release minute. And now it's McAvoy with the takeaway. And he will never poke check here by Hall. 
That's another one that can be very good for Pest. That is a great help to the offense to take them down. Carlos got the puck. And another poke check releases. He's got great control out there. It looks like the Hurricanes wanted to sweep them up and make them count. Fast along with the heavy, heavy drowner. Back to Slavin. Slavin gets broken up. D'Angelo will, will try, try to recover it, and Slavin will try to save it. Shaving it back over is the Dreader. He tried it inside! Takes the shot off of Omar with a hate save! Smith off the coil. Gets down on the board! The Hurricanes are trying to sweep them down! The sweeping wind is a power to, to know the knowledge out there. That can be a little bit dangerous for him to keep him alive. D'Angelo with the puck. Miami moving back to Slavin. Coyle going all alone with the Ame Rush. And he scores! That will be a now 3-1 game. What a great breakaway here for Charlie Coyle. If the Ame Rush wants to go for the go-ahead goal, well, there is a much chance out there. But the Boston Bruins are giving him a try. They wanted to keep it going for as hard as they can. And that will be a tough one to release. Shevchikov back into the uh, offensive end. Shevchikov switches up to Slavin. Shoots a corner and that gets caught in traffic. Debrusk. Aho oh, with, the, with the release been saved. Aho oh, try to sweep it around. Shevchikov back to Aho. Oh. Aho oh, releases, and it goes off of Allmark. Back to Coyle. Moves across, inside, off again on Allmark. Their double mans are being taken over again, and they're going to try things off at the top. Yes, sir, they definitely did. All the time, they definitely did want to give that one a call. A good catch moment here for the Hurricanes to try to stop the run the tackles. Ferris shoots! That goes to nowhere in, inside. DeBrus now has the puck. Now Boston will regain their group here to keep it a trying. Moves inside. Coyle's got the puck and around the offensive end now to try things from the top but once more. And a bad pass releases. Marchand has the puck. Now goes to Nosex. Up to Lazar. Poke check the way made for another hurricane takeaway. Katemi Alba McAvoy wanted to slow things down. And he has a puck in control. Oh, he scores! Katemi gets his sixth goal of the season! You call that one a breakaway, but there is no option. As the Timmy really wants to like give up on a puck here and say, move out of the way. And then all with that one is being said, that's like a that's like a tailgating speed here down on the other end. I mean, I don't know what to say about that, but that, but that was very that hard. I did take him a chance to try to slow him down. And with that one, Katemi has gotten his first goal in the playoffs and it's four, four, one for the Hurricanes. They are sweeping the victory up here in the first round of the game. And only one was being with a, with an un, with an undisappointment effort here in game one. Now he swings over to Seji. Back to Pass. Pass gets can't get finding another man here as this one backs up to a regroup. Neck is back in the other end. No sex takes the puck away. McAvoy on him. He gets a little bang up here with the Jarvis attack. Troll check out and back in the uh, Kane's offense. He takes a shot. Omar takes a save. And this one will stop the play. In between these uh, zones of the Anderson and Omar, this was going to be a very tough decision to make that one going by. But we don't know what is going to happen. If there's a chance here, well, I can't comply because there is a lot of man 
and wants to take the advantage in between balance of those, of those two between Allmark and Anderson. That may be the only key to make the matchup even more better. With the shot, that goes off of a goalie. Oh boy, another bad pass angle, and Slavin will have to regroup it again. Now Trocek will carry along the wing. The Hurricanes sweeping back into the offensive end. Big side! Oh, D'Angelo got an open look, but had no regret to take the shot. That was very tough and tense on this call. That may be a tough one to go finding head-to-head. -head. Taking a shot, and it's blocked up in front. Hall up again. Puller, and saved again. Fast delivery on the other end. Six minutes to go in the second period. And a bypass won't be taken back here. Hall's got it now. Defensive end. Inside. Saved by Anderson. There's still much plenty of time for the Bruins to get right back into this one. The score is 4-1 as the Hurricanes are trying to look for their way to, to try to play them against the New York Rangers. And yes, that's the only thing I'm looking for. The New York Rangers and the Hurricanes again. This could be a very tough make break around to make them pay for. Others make it a little bit sloppy. Marchand, back to Carlo. Carlo swings it over to Crossleck. Saved by Anderson. Marchand inside, and that pass pass picked up. Now he moves over to Marchand, sketching up front. Bergeron in cover. The blocking pass won't get in the bite. Kuzekov goes back on the offense. Swings back over to Terry. The bypass gives to the ball. Terry trying to hold him on. Now Boston will grab their own way to get back on the offensive. Bergeron's got it across against the boards. Swings up to Bergeron. Pass, trying to find a help someone. Carlo outside, Bergeron in there, saved by Anderson. Saving me, where Anderson's gonna be kicked off a wide. He knows he was gonna get there in time. Maz will have to regroup here, but without being caught offside. Now Terry up to Seji. Pass. Up back to Skeggy. It's a low turn and up. Saved by Omar. I will keep it along the board and they will call the puck here for 2.15 left. There's still much time left here as the as second period is winding down. They need something to get right by him. Now Boston will win the faceoff. Grezik up to Frederick. The Bruins take their way inside the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Trocek. Now he swings it over to Jarvis. Jarvis going in alone, but he will have to reset it from outside without going with the odd man rush. The odd man rush can be a very challenging thing. It can because the other guys are right, in, are right in transition out there. It may be very tough to keep an eye on them. But it may be hard to find someone by. Jarvis holds on inside the offensive end. D'Angelo open. That gets caught away. Wow, the body check slammed down here on D'Angelo. Trocha keeps an eye on the puck in the offensive end. Now it moves all over to D'Angelo. Lorenz, right to Slavin. Slavin inside. Shoots! Score! What a goal for Slavin! It's 5-1 game! Look at that. That was the ultimate man. He was trying to get around it. But that slap shot, you can feel the energy as Carolinas are going wild right now there. They're looking for a chance to go face against the New York Rangers. And it could be over for the Boston Bruins for tonight.
And that one turns to be the end of the second period, and it's 5-1 Hurricanes. Third period is coming up right after the break. The third period's about to be underway now. Son of Beast and Meatbone here along with Black Frank. We are about to start now for the last period in game five. Now here's Aho. He gets it off to Snetsikov. Only three goals this season for a tournament. This has been a tremendous for his career this season. What do you think, Meatbone? Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeing on him. It, it can be very hard to make him uh, try to go for it. And I'm betting on that one. This might be a toughest one for Terry to keep an eye on. We have a penalty shot coming up for Boston as D'Angelo tries to stick on them. And it looks like Bergeron will have to take the penalty shot here. And now he's up. Pat Bergeron, a little slope at the end. Looking for a shot tonight. Not today! Wow, what a hustle move here by Anderson. He is knocking things down here on the board. That's a crazy moment out there. Amazing skills with his shot. That turned out to be a wonderful play here for Anderson to try to stop the puck. Shetchikov right along the board. Takes a big hit here and they will have to try to try to regain possession here to try to wipe them down. Now Terrain gets it back in the offense. Gets a little piece out of it as Ajo will try to look forward. Ajo, try to swing it back, back to Turing. D'Angelo, back to Sessikov. Takes a shot, saved by Olmark. That's going to be a way out of hard traffic out there. They're going to need to find a solution to go right by him. D'Angelo, shot, saved by Olmark. Once more. Now Slavin in the corner. Want to take a jailhouse out there with the breakaway. Turing can't get it in there. Oh man, it was going to be a tough one. It was going to be four goals for Turing, but they want to slow it down. Yeah, slowing it down can be a very hard idea, but not to worry. It may be a hard run out there to try to stop the puck. Now it's the Boston Bruins taking possession. Bergeron back in the neutral zone. Now backing in the offense end. Nebraska in front back to Bergeron. Takes a shot. Goods and traffic out there in front and Trocek tries to save it. Finds Jarvis. Oh, getting a little bit of a stick, stick out there. Nekas moves back to Jarvis. Scooping a lob over to Jarvis. Now pass. Pass to watch on Nebraska. DeBrus carries, and releases a big hit, another big man down. That was a very tough close one, and you can feel the heat. That might be a lot of great hustle work inbound. Carolina back in the offensive end, and the bad pass lifts us off to Seji. Now he's going to need to try things over again. Great block pass. Sketchy up on fast. Back in the 3 on 1. That will be picked up wide. This was never going to happen. That was going to be a very rough call to try to work their way around. But that time it could be way too short. Nidrana right to Seji. And goes with another breakup pass. Boston back in the offensive end. Now Carolina back in offensive end. Fast moves across along the board. In the back behind the net is Bear. That pass won't connect. Nitrider carries offside and they will have to call the whistle here to try to reset them up. Carolina back to work. Lorenz up in control. Now Grizzlechuk right to Frederick. The Bruins take their possession in the offensive end. Moves up to Quito, and that goes out of traffic. Dressled up, Smith, saved by Anderson. That's going to be a very hard, tough one to go out of nowhere. They're going to find somewhere nearby. Carlo, no shot there. Monitor, trying to stop the puck. 
Right to Katemi. Katemi in the offensive end. 2 one Shot blocked in the nine. Traffic in front. Coyle on D'Angelo. Takes it to the slot. Saved by Anderson. And he will hold the puck here with 12.22 left. What a hustle move by Anderson. He is getting into it. He's getting better at this point. Now he's be now he wants to show what he can do to try to make him slow down. Now the Bruins go back on offense. That goes out of nowhere. Still lots of time left here for the period. Hurricanes have their extension up over four to take over by one of the Bruins. The Hurricanes move back in the offensive end. Nibros Sesikov watching him. Turn it up. March in the other lane. Bad Brusk back in this block. Try to block in front. Now Slavin just off the Terminian. Carolina in attack. 2 1. Scores! One time goal for Sebastian Ajo. And it's an extension of five. What a feed. That's a take to take by Terry and Ivo delivering up in front. What a show. And as you know that Ivo was delivering it all quiet out there. He now has his goal. It will be assisted by Terry and Slavin. Now he has a lot of work to get right by him. Abel right back on the other side. Dish off to Sechikov. 11 minutes left here for the third period. Debrusque getting in caught in traffic out there and they wanted to get away with, with the defenders. Backhand releases to Turbane. Back over to D'Angelo. Moves over to Slavin. Slavin right up in the corner. Abel right over to Marche. Marchand takes a steal. DeBrus whipped down here with the Carolina wind power. The Treader. This one gets him going crazy off and bound in the neutral zone. There is too much, too much congestion going on over here. And it might be a very tough luck to go right by him. So, backhand will get him in. Pashnox looks for his regroup here, here for the offensive end. Paul and off it goes on the on Russell. I'm sorry, on Anderson. But this was a lot of heavy courage matching. Backs it up to Pastrnak. Up to Walla. Shot tipped wide. The Carolina Kings sweeping up here back in the offense. Slavin in, out outside. That gets him caught in traffic. Hall right in front. Mekis will pull the puck here to recover it. D'Angelo to Harvest. Harvest has his puck in control. The double man on him. Kicks off to Nekis. Slavin trying to regroup. With the shot. Uh uh, no trap, no shot down, down there. Trocek. Right over to Slavin. Trocek up, and that cuts him with the save. Save me on a big timing on one end for, for Omar. There is so much to bring things on the chest of the glove save. That really does stand it out. We are under a midway period as it comes down with a 6-1 lead. What a way to make the save by Swayman as a new goalie replacement has appeared. There is a lot of chance out there for Swayman to sweep them down. And all it turns out, he wants to save it from big detailation. Now the higher skills picks up on the Kings. Pass moves over to Jarvis. Sweeping on over to Seji. Seji gets out of the way and says, get off of me. Yeah, they definitely did want to do that. They, it looks like football players. They definitely have some a lot of uh, an advantage out there to try to stop their man. Sketchy, two on one. 
scores! Nurkis with the goal! An all play by feed here. Sergi had it all covered up. He gives it off to Nekas, and now he is all down on abomination. The runoff was going to be tipping in wide, but that's all he had changed to make him play for. Skeji has his first assist, and now it's now a 7 1 game. Smith save again on Anderson. Wow, they all love Anderson so much. He's the king of a goalie. He's looking for him to get the three star players of the game. Yeah, he looks like he did have it all. Hold him down on the board. Maybe a, a great chance for him to get back in the line. Reaching over Sketchy. Shot blocked and he went down hard. Oh boy. That one may not be a good idea to give it up for one. Fair in front. Good save by Swayman. And now the puck will be frozen up to give it another try. There's a lot of sass in between out there. The third eye did seem to come by for Sebastian Ajo. The Boston Bruins take the possession. Now Marchand, this is backing in the neutral zone to offensive zone. Curry along the middle. Chuck went tipped wide on the backhand. DeBrusk goes inside. Saved by Anderson. No way this was never going to happen. He is strucking things down. And for this guy, the Anderson has it all in covered out there. He is delivering us here for the offensive end. And now giving up to an incredible sweepstake. Their team is looking for victory here in, in for the first round. And I think they might be going for the second round if they wanted to kick things off right away. Bergeron with the takeaway. Now Boston kicks it back in there. Stick lift to be drowning. Sets a cock moves up in front. Up to the wall. Carlo takes it away. Bergeron in cover. Marchand up in front. Shoots wide. Glove save by Anderson. He's quick on that move. Quick timing reaction can be the only way to make himself a better time player. Shot went broken up. Carlo right back over to Bergeron. Bergeron finds Marchand as Terrain as takes the puck away. Terrain up again. Oh, he went down. The bad hit takes him a feed. It will be a very tough one to make him pay for. Pass it off to Terrain. Moves around, and it's D'Angelo with the steal. Cole back in the offensive end to Terrain. And the fans are all cheering on the Hurricanes as it comes down to a last minute in the third period. And there you go, Pastronauts coming inside, turning up in front. The Hurricanes will make their sweepstake victory here, and they have won the first round against the Boston Bruins for tonight. Everybody's pretty happy, all of them. And without any other ruling, deletion, the beginning, of the detail, well, Hurricanes got a lot of sweepstaking out there, looking for a chance to make them pay for the comeback what they have. Hold up, that's is blocked. Astronauts, off the shot goes by Hall. Hayu up on D'Angelo. Just about 10 seconds left. Shaw takes it. Hits him down hard. And the Kings wins the first round. They are going to the second round to face against the New York Rangers. The fans are even happy, even including Anderson. He's the only uh, goalie defender that he knows is all. He's a star-makeable run. What a fantastic night here We're up top. And the Hurricanes have a sweet stake here, and they are going to the second round. All the celebrations here of celebrating their first time 
heading to the second round. This was like the only game that does turn out to be one of the best it's played in ever. And I hope that we think the NBA playoffs and NHL Stanley Cup playoffs was a great solution. And now we send you down right to the free star players of the game as Life Ring, Mepho, and I are finished for tonight. We have one more left. There's so much games that they have and other transition out there. It's the toughest game that they have played here before. Since without game one, it was all that Bruins had to take. But there's no such question to guard. It has happened before. Already happened. Third star, we start off with Jacob Slavin. One goal, one assist, and three hits. Great hits in between, and great shot goes wide. Me phone, you take on two. Thank you so much. Number two, we have is Frederick Anderson. Pretty saves, point nine to 86-68. Here with a saving percentage. That gives him a good time effort. And for number one, Jeremy Terrain. Two goals, one assist, three assists, one assist, and three hits. It's a great off-man score to make him show what his better performance out there turned out to be the best play run. So we stick around later for the second round, but we're waiting for the ever team to play here for the next round. Here of each games. Now coming up will be the other end here to get things off a try of Predators and Wilds heading back at XL Energy Arena. And then game five can be the next one to give this thing a try, but we are not sure who will be the winning here in taking lead front in between Predators or the Wilds. So without being further being said, I am finished and we all hope you enjoyed your game five of the Eastern Conference first round of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. We'll do more as we have the Bolts and the Leafs taking on each other. And the other team that does turn out to be the other end as we're waiting for the Panthers to play against the winning team. Three of them are down here in the Eastern Conference. But one may be a tough one to get by by him for Calgary Flames to win. And there might be another one to keep an eyes on. So thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the NHL 22 of the Stanley Cup Playoff Dial. So that's it for me, me phone, and Life Ringer gone. I'm your host, Son of Beast. Get home safely and have a great night. And Carolina wind of mighty and power of the hurricane.